the reason I'm bringing this up. What? Well, I think that it's important for someone to be talking about this because you see no information on this at all. But the reason why I'm thinking about this is because my basement is flooded right now from the toilet upstairs and a disaster guy came to assess the situation and we went through the house and looked at all the damage looked at all the damage and at the end of it all he said yeah I was here three years ago three years ago my three three and a half years ago my basement completely flooded every inch was underwater I was sleeping zero hours a night or one hour every 24 hours or two hours every 24 hours I was so out of it so highly suicidal I was fighting for my life I literally was sleeping half the time one hour every night I was out of it fighting for my life when he said that to me yeah I was here th lots of lots of contractors and people came and went from this house with that flood I didn't remember him and when he said that to me I thought I'm standing in front of him and I'm thinking wow I wonder what I looked like to him compared to now compared to this moment because I had some REM sleep last night I wonder I looked you know I looked years younger I wonder if I looked you know batshit crazy and half out of my mind then I was sleeping zero or one or two hours I was in acute benzo withdrawal and this brain condition acute acute benzo withdrawal so so sick and terrified and fight or flight or I, I don't know how I lived through I, I don't know how I've lived through all of this and now I'm sleeping two or three hours a night instead of zero or one or two that makes a huge difference I'm still fighting for my life but he caught me on a day where I've had REM sleep and I feel incredibly grounded and sane and well and safe so it really it really made me wonder what what does he remember back then what was he looking at compared to the person standing in front of him today and when they come when they start doing the work and stuff if I'm sleeping if I sleep two hours and I've had no REM sleep at all I'm gonna be in fight or flight I'm gonna be in a state of panic I'm gonna be not this and I can't expect people to understand because most doctors can't even understand this situation I'm in I uh, there's uh, I think most people would it's either or most people think it's it's a mental health issue unless they talk to me and understand that you know this isn't something I'm doing I'm, I'm not just uh lazy making things up making up diseases I don't feel like cleaning my house I, uh, I'm capable but I just don't feel like it there's no way to explain being this ill and unable to people so every single person you, you're dealing with you don't know if you know they, they're either or either they they're empathetic and they know you're suffering and 
you're in deep trouble or they think you're batshit crazy and it's all a mental health issue mental health issue it's a hard position to to be in as a sick person knowing that you know knowing that most people almost no one understands but most people don't get it or aren't supportive or uh or think you're not even sick but it makes me wonder what, what from his memory what was he looking at when he was looking at me how was did i seem really out of it cuz i was i i i was frantic i was in a state of panic i was you know, nonstop fight or flight. Mind you, I can hide things really well. I can fake being well, you know. So 